All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this concrete block and have a displacement noise texture applied to it so you can act so it actually looks like it has physical geometry as far as the roughness goes. You will have to you will need to download um, one image for the texture that will be in the description of this video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. File new and then reload startup file. If you have the cube in yours, go ahead and delete it because you do not need the cube for this. Instead, we're going to start off with a plane. All right, I'm gonna press seven on the keyboard, go to top side view, then press five to go into orthographic view or two dimensional view. And then I'm going to add mesh and then plane. Now I want the, we need the plane to be twice as long on the X axis as it is on the Y axis. So on the X axis, we're gonna change that to four. Now let's go ahead and zoom in so we can get a better look at it. Before we go on to the next step, let's go ahead and apply the scale. Control A and then scale. Now, let's go into edit mode by pressing tab. Once we're here, we need to subdivide this. Let's sub click on the subdivide button right here and then change this to four, for four subdivisions. Now press A so that nothing is selected. Choose the edge select icon down here and then right click here on this vertice and then shift right click shift right click shift right click shift right click now that we have all of these vertices selected let's move them on the x-axis until they're just four small blender units from the edge let's do the same right here shift right click shift right click shift right click shift right click move it so it's four bl small blender units from the edge and do it we would need to do it with this with the top and bottom but they they're already four small blender units from the edge so they're fine but we do need to do it to the middle we need we need this row of vertices to be four units from this row of vertices so we need to move this side in to small units one two and then do the same to this side shift right click shift right click shift right click shift right click all right now press a so that nothing is selected and then go to face select click on the face select icon and we need to get rid of the parts of the mesh that we are not going to use and the portions that we're not going to use is the parts that will make that would make up the holes in the uh, concrete block. So that would be right here, right here, right here, and I'm shift right clicking for each face, and then I'm going to press delete, and then choose faces. Now we could leave it as it is now, but in order to save computer resources we could get rid of some of these some of this geometry to make it simpler because less geometry is always easier for the computer to calculate all right so we're going to press a once or twice until everything is selected and then press delete on the keyboard and then choose limited dissolve and basically all that did was simplify the geometry. Now press tab to exit edit mode and then press control A once again to set the scale. Now let's go to press one on the keyboard to go to front side view and then just zoom out just a little bit. Now we're gonna add some thickness to this so it would be more like a concrete block. So go over here to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and then choose solidify. Now we need to change, we, need, we want to make this thicker, and we're going to make it thicker this way. So if we make it 
thicker on a positive number, then it extrudes down essentially. But we want it to extrude up. And the number we want it to extrude to is minus two because we we're work because it's already two units this way and it's four units this way so we want it two units tall also now once we have that set go ahead and click apply and then once again control a to set the scale we want to add a little bit of a bevel on the edges so we're going to go to add modifier and then choose bevel and keep that at point 1 but change this to 4 and there you go click apply and you're done with that part now go ahead and control A and apply scale once again you may not actually have to apply the scale as often as I am but it's a good habit to get into because a lot of the modifiers act funny if uh, the scale's not applied. So it's just a habit I've gotten into. Alright, now we need to apply a texture to this. So with the cube selected, I'm going to go ahead and set the origin to the center of mass before we go any further. Make sure the cube selected on the tools tab over here, set origin to center of mass on the volume. All right, now I'm going to go to the materials tab, press new, change this from diffuse to uh, principled, and then choose image texture. And this is where the image texture that uh, you need to download, this is where you need it. Click open and the um, image texture, where are, you, where are you at? Here it is. The image texture is called uh, concrete texture repeating. That's what, that's the image that you need to download. And again, it's in the description of, of this video. Now we need to change the roughness change that to let's say 0.9 and then let's go ahead and pull this over and then change this to UV editor and then click right here and grab click on the concrete concrete texture now with the mouse over the concrete block Press tab to go into edit mode. Press A once or twice until everything is selected. And then press U and go to Smart UV Project. And then click OK. And then over here you see all of the uh, faces applied to the texture. Pre I, I usually press A so I can select them. I don't it doesn't really matter when you're just doing this kind of a simple UV uh, unwrapping. I'll go ahead and slide this over. Press tab to leave edit mode and see if we go to rendered mode. Let me go ahead and add a light so we can see what's going on. Add uh, where are you at? Lamp point Make this 1000. And there you go. But if we look at it real close, there's no bump map to it. There's, It's just a texture and that's it. We don't want that. We want to see some sort of texture. I'm going to go ahead and click on smooth. And now I'm going to slide this down and then change this to node editor. And this is the nodes that make up 
our image texture but we need to add a displacement to it so I'm going to move the, the material output node over and then I'm going to add a noise texture node add texture noise put that right here change this to 40 and then uh, keep the details on two it needs to be fairly low you can turn it up but uh, in my opinion around two is about the right amount of detail for this now we need to add a math node add and then go up here to converter and then choose math put that here now take the color connect it to the top value input on the uh, math node and then change it from add to multiply and then change connect the output to displacement and then suddenly your texture comes to life it looks more realistic because it looks like it actually has a physical texture but anyway that's pretty much it if you have any questions about how to do this because I often do not explain myself very well leave a comment and uh, below and I will try to help you out anyway hope this helped later people